All right, welcome back, everybody. So, um, this will be the second video with the Hellcat in it and stuff like that. You gotta excuse my phone and stuff like that. Um, I gotta buy another camera. The camera I had, uh, having some issues with the firmware, so I haven't been using it. I'm trying to figure out how to update it. And, uh, once I get that taken care of, I'll be back at it. I just thought about buying a new GoPro leaving it dead also um camera i was using is about two years old two and a half and i can upgrade or get a new phone but yeah so new updates on the hellcat so i did put the roof spoiler on and i put The new um, carbon, fake carbon fiber diffuser. And let's pop the trunk. I end up getting some, yes, those are headers. But I did get some tips and I got five inch exhaust tips. So let me drop the keys. Now, my car is running stock exhaust. These are five inch tips. God, look how big they are. So, I will be running five inch exhaust tips and I am putting headers on the car. And I thought about changing the cat back system um, where I work at. I can get one that we make there pretty cheap. So um, that's one thing I thought about it. Um, or I could do the axle back setup that we make it work also and uh, use my own tips. But um, as you know, car does have a little work done to it. So I haven't started today. It's not really a cold start but it's a cold motor start um the boy is playing around so here's my little start thinking I'm playing when I say, hey, it's got stock exhaust. So just to prove a point, let me put my keys down and I get down and I show you. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, stock stuff. Still got the, the valves. One piece draft shaft, diff brace, scat axles, lower springs. Hold on. Let's go. In. So, but yeah. It's also got manifolds. The, well, not the manifolds, but the, the Dodge. Doc 
back hitters. But like I said, the motor has been uh, redone, as everybody knows. Sorry about this poor quality video. But, oh yeah, it's been raining. My bad. As you can hear it drop on the motor and sizzling. But, four or five wheel buzz, y'all know. It's got the coder, whipple coder intake, carbon fiber. It's got the mammoth throttle body, four or five whipple, but 4.75 uh, pulley, which still makes like over 18 psi. But, uh, Motor's done. It's got a 180 degree thermostat. And then, as I'm about to show you, that is stock manifold right there. It's not a header. So, if it not having headers and me putting headers on, it's gonna be louder. And then I plan on putting a smaller pulley back on it. And then, I've got coil packs for it, uh, SFI certified, uh, uh, flex plate, torque converter coming, um, got APR wheel studs for the front is coming, sorry got some for the rear, as you can see, it's got different wheel studs, then on the front, uh, they're shorter on the front and then um, let me see what else those I got coming for exhaust I already talked about it oh I'm doing the different expansion tanks the larger ones for the coolant for the supercharger and then I'm doing the bigger one for here want to do an inner chiller looking at the pricing and stuff like that um, I can get the in. Leave people alone. Wouldn't suggest coming over to my house unannounced. Um, but plan on doing that. Killer chiller and all that stuff. Putting drag pack on. Plan on running, uh, hold on. In, get in there. Since you don't know how to behave. All right. Putting up, plan on doing 20 by eights up front, 18 by 11s in the back. And then for when I take it to the track, um, either 20 by sevens, I meant. I'm gonna do 18 by fives in the front. And, oh, got a catch can. But most of that stuff came with the car. Now, I don't know if I told y'all. I did, because I called Whipple. And Whipple wanted a, a ton of money for their shroud. The car's missing a shroud. Took it to the dealership. Had some stuff done. Missed it, lost the shroud. So, I ended up buying this. It was like $100 from the egg maker. Could you imagine? So basically, I'm gonna have to make that notch bigger so that it'll fit. Um, once I make the notch bigger, it should easily just go on. Let's see, that's the reason why I gotta notch it bigger. It's hitting right there. Now it could work like that, but I don't want the water to roll on the filter. So I'm gonna notch it. And then, uh, oh, see my mats. And uh, on top of that, in. On top of that, um, I do have a pedal commander and a taser and it's HP tuner tuned.
HP tuner tuned and all that stuff. In. Get in there. Golly, y'all hard hit. But, uh, got a list of things. Uh, plan on going to Mo Party and Challenger Fest and all that stuff. I got a uh, wrap for the side I've been looking into because I want to make the car my own. Um, a couple people know the car, so the reason why I want to change the wheels. Um, I really want to upgrade it. I want to do something different to the body and stuff like that. Thought about buying a fiberglass hood and a fiberglass trunk and uh, still paint them white and everything, but kind of lighten the car up. Uh, looked at that. So, it just basically trying to make it my own. I've I had the car for about a month now. Uh, should be getting my tags sometime pretty soon. And yes, I did keep the 392 Daytona. Now I use it as a daily driver. Haven't been washing it because it's been raining. And I was just surprised that it's dry right now because our forecast said it was supposed to rain all week. So I took the chance today, go ahead and make the video while I could. Hadn't dropped one in a while. And why not? Um, if you haven't been following, please follow. I'm trying to make more videos and I gotta get my camera uh, set up, upgraded and all that stuff. But yeah, this is my 2018 Hellcat and my name's Tristan. If you wanna follow me, uh, I have an Instagram. Uh, on my Instagram, it's uh, K I -E K N G dot Denaro. So, and it's uh srt yeah kng dot narrow srt so but yeah i don't have anything else to say i ain't gonna hold y'all up y'all complained about my video being long last time well i had one person so i knock it down some plus the boys they ain't gonna act good at all all right